a lot of people in the last couple of weeks, no matter what we've said or done, have asked for specific writing and guidelines. And so what Dan and I talked about this week on the phone was the fact that the group booklet that we already have that's an NA resource has on page 26, 27 of the group booklet has a, has a group inventory in it that can address many of the questions that we have. So Dan is going to scroll down to it and he's going to show it to us. And he's going to talk a little bit about our conversation um, the other day and how this applies to our groups. Go ahead, Dan, for yours. Yeah, so uh, Shane and I were talking about this. As he said, a lot of people are talking about guidelines and, and how do they have guidelines for, on, uh, for online meetings. And uh, just like most things uh, that are being addressed with online issues, um, there's something out there uh, that can relate with it. Um, so we were talking about, you know, uh, you know, how do, where do they meet? You know, um, you know, how much does it can charge you, for rent? You know, I mean, can you, you enlarge the view? Some people are asking if you can make the view bigger. Okay, hang on just a second here. Let me zoom in a little bit. back to the top and then open there you go how's that guys that's great beautiful right okay so you have a, a starting a new group checklist you know talking about you know how to get in touch with the nearest service committee i mean you know what we've been talking about is there's a lot of home groups that are now uh, unable to meet and wanting to wanting to meet online and uh you know so they already have a, an in-place service structure you know they already have a gsr they already have a uh a secretary, they have a treasurer in place, um, you know, so, and they're already in touch with the area service committee, so they're already a member of the uh, local ASC. Um, obtain a meeting place, you know, um, whatever platform it is you decide to use, uh, you decide when, where, and how much, you know, um, <laughs> talks about rent, um, you know, we also talk about uh, what, you know, uh, meeting etiquette, you know, so a lot of people are talking about meeting etiquette, what's appropriate at meetings. Um, well, what's appropriate at a regular meeting? You know, do you allow people to smoke in your facility? Do you allow people to walk in there without shirts and shoes on or, or whatever, you know? Um, you know, we, we can also look at, you know, we always say at our meetings, no drugs or drug related outfits. You know, if someone has a, an image behind them of a, a, a big pot leaf on their, on their wall or they use that as their screen image, um, you know, we need to make sure that we're, you know, that we've got something in place uh, as a group to figure out what to do about that. Um, uh, how, how are you going to communicate with, uh, with each other? You know, um, a lot of people are using group chats and group text, um, you know, how to name your group. Um, what trusted servants are needed, you know, it's the same, it's the same type of thing, except we're going to add a few people, you know, we're going to add a, a host for the account. And um, obviously, just like it's been talked about earlier, there's going to be lots of co-hosts uh, to help out with, uh, with duties and tasks, whether they're, you know, the chat, whether they're, you know, members looking at their, uh, their images and what they're wearing or what they got going on on their video. Um, you know, it's also something to talk about with distractions uh, in the video, you know, um, uh, what kind of format will you use? This is just like any other meeting. I mean, all these things are already addressed and they're addressed within uh, the group pamphlet. Obviously, we're not going to be talking about refreshments and uh, literature. So um, like many other groups are doing, uh, groups are having a, a group conscience and deciding how to uh, get literature to people. Um, one way to do that is just to, you know, post a, a link to na.org. Um, to be able to buy literature, or if you if you wanted to buy literature for someone that was at that meeting, you could do some kind of gift certificate, either on the Google Play, Apple Store, or Amazon. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's it's really some uh, some basic information. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about guidelines for for online groups, and they're really no different than any other group, from what I can see. All right, guys, you gonna, anybody got some questions for, for Dan on that? I'm gonna throw them in the chat or. Get 
my screen back. I've zoomed in so much that I've lost it. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there was one question that came up that's sort of vaguely about it. It was um, if the area subcommittee, if the area um, and the subcommittee don't want to use virtual meeting formats, how would how would that be handled? What are other areas going to do if they uh, choose not to use virtual meeting spaces? Well, I think group autonomy is going to fall into play. Once again, you know, we already have things in place that can address a lot of these things. Um, groups have their own autonomy and they get to choose to do uh, other things as long as it doesn't affect other groups or NA as a whole. Um, so that's some of the stuff that we've been talking about. We're actually doing a, a PR presentation here locally for all these groups. You know, we've had a plethora of groups reaching out to us for, you know, how to start their own uh, uh, online, how to take their home group online during this time. Obviously these are temporary things, right? But, you know, so there's been a lot of groups that have been asking those questions and um, we've put together a little, uh, a little presentation that we're gonna be providing them with at four o'clock central today um, that are gonna talk about a lot of these things. Um, a lot of questions that have came up to us are like seventh tradition stuff. So that's kind of what, you know, got me reaching out to Shane about this topic to begin with. But, you know, like I say, groups are autonomous and, uh, you know, they can do whatever it is they want um, as long as it doesn't affect other groups or NA as a whole. Thank you.